What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you the beginner's guide to building a profitable dropshipping store in 2019. Let's get into it. Alright, so obviously the first thing that you need to do is learn how dropshipping works. You probably already know, but if not, just watch some YouTube videos and make sure you get a good understanding of it and really just get a foundation to build upon. It's probably a good idea to learn a lot about Instagram influencer marketing before you even start out. The next thing that you're going to want to do is pick out your products. I recommend building a general store and then segmenting that into three to four niches. Each of these niches needs to have at least two winning products in it or at least two products that you see other dropshippers selling successfully. Then I like to add some upsell and downsell products so that each niche has four products in it. The next thing that you wouldn't do is pick out a name for your store and then go ahead and create your business's Instagram and Facebook pages. Try not to overthink this because a name truly isn't a big deal. You may want to go ahead and make or hire someone to make a logo for your business as well. Now's where it starts to get fun. Go ahead and start your free two week Shopify trial and begin to build your store. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video if you wanna start your trial. I recommend building your store on the debut theme, but there's plenty of other good free themes. The next thing you need to do is decide which niche and which product that you wanna start out promoting. Contact as many influencers as you can in that niche. I recommend sticking to pages that have anywhere from 100,000 to 400,000 followers. That way you're not going to be wasting money testing something that may or may not work. Start posting niche related content daily on your store's Instagram page. Make sure that you're only posting high quality pictures and videos and be sure you're not just spamming your store's products. That way you'll actually be able to build a following. I recommend posting a product for every two to five regular posts. You can either use hashtags to grow your page, or if you want to, you can cheat and buy a couple hundred followers. Most people don't approve of this, but I always do it for social proof when starting a new store. Okay, so before you start running ads, you need to run through your sales funnel and just make sure everything's looking good. A sales funnel just means the steps that the customer is going to take. So they would see the ad, go to your Instagram page, go to the product page, add the item to their cart, and then check out. Just make sure all that stuff is good. Now it's time to start advertising. Negotiate with influencers and schedule your first ad. Now you just want to keep testing more pages, ads, and products. If you fully tested the winning products in your niche with little to no results, just go ahead and move on to your next niche. However, you should expect to spend about $100 thoroughly testing each winning product. Here's where the real money comes in. Once you have around 200 purchases in a specific niche, start testing lookalike audiences on Facebook with the products and ads that have already been working for your Instagram influencers. At this point, you may want to think about rebranding your store for the niche that has worked best for you so far. You should continue to run influencer ads for data until Facebook is bringing you a good, consistent amount of sales. After that, you can still run influencer ads, but they're more time consuming than Facebook, so you may just want to do it occasionally. After that, you're basically done and now you should focus on removing your time from the business. Outsource and automate your order fulfillment and customer service. You should keep running Facebook ads and move on to the next store. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't go super in depth on every step, but that's because I kind of just wanted this video to be like an overall guide. If you'd like two to five minute tutorials on basically every single one of these steps, be sure to check out all the videos that are on my channel. Once again, there is going to be a link in the description of this video if you want to start your free 14 day Shopify trial. So why not take advantage of that? Do me a favor and hit that big right subscribe button before you leave. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.